This training video is being brought to you by learningcomputer.com. Today we are going to be looking at Microsoft PowerPoint 2013, uh, basically trying to cover a few new features. So let's uh, look at the subject matter. Well, what is, uh, what's new in the new edition of PowerPoint? Well, quite a few things, okay? Um, you now have the ability to insert media like online pictures, YouTube videos, and audio files straight into your PowerPoint. We actually have a video on this on our YouTube channel, so definitely check that out. Uh, there are quite a few things regarding uh, basically multimedia animation and whatnot. So some of the other important points are that you can uh, now basically convert your PowerPoint to a video. Uh, how cool is that? You basically make a PowerPoint. You can even insert some audio in it, and essentially you create a video that you can pass on to other people that they can uh, you know watch the PowerPoint they don't have to have PowerPoint they can simply um, watch the video even um, essentially on their you know smartphones and whatnot and we'll we'll look at all of these points um, uh, you know in detail I'm just kinda doing an overview you also have the ability to share really PowerPoint presentations online so this is another exciting feature that uh, you know you can uh, basically uh, be in collaboration with non-office users this is going to be sort of like a real-time thing where they can uh, you know they can watch as you are giving the live presentation okay very cool feature we are also going to take a stab at the presenter view although really um, that does uh, require two monitors here we really you know, obviously, are working with one because this is how we're making the video. But uh, we'll we'll cover the basics to give you a good idea. And then, uh, you know, specifically for pictures and images, there's there's quite a few new things. But we are going to show you how to uh, remove background from an image or photo. This is uh, obviously quite easy to do in you know Adobe Photoshop. But uh, uh, in this release, you you have the ability to do that. And I believe this was also in 2010, but they have enhanced it uh, a little bit. And then you can also manage colors with the eyedropper feature for picture. So, you know, quite a few things we're going to look at. Let's, uh, you know, let's put this to work and let's see what MS PowerPoint 2013, uh, you know, has in action. So the first dem demo, we're, um, this is going to be a demo, a demo heavy video where we can actually show you the stuff. So um, not a whole lot of talking and then I will just kind of guide you through some of these things. But uh, for starters, we are going to convert. Uh, we have a SQL Server 2012 presentation. We would like to convert it to video. We will choose the WMV format, which is the Windows Media uh, Player video, basically. And in order to do this, you, you really, you know, once you have your PowerPoint up and running, you just go to File export and then create a video so those are the steps and I, I will show you in a minute and then also we're going to share the same presentation online with uh, you know I guess they don't have to be non-office users but I'm just trying to make a point they could obviously be an office user you really you're just really sharing the the presentation um, at the same time so this would be like let's say maybe you're doing some kind of webinar or virtual meeting you know uh, that you could share with other people and then uh, for this one you're really going to go to file share and then present uh, online okay so so let me uh, let me take uh, you know dig deeper into this um, I guess uh, let's just uh, we are going to leave this up and running I'm going to switch to my uh, this is really, I guess, I have, I have a SQL Server, which, by the way, is a product for Microsoft. We do, uh, we do have a lot of tutorials on this. If you are interested in learning more about databases and whatnot, but anyway, so I have this, uh, this demo on uh, SQL Server, right? I'm, I'm covering some points in here. Uh, you know, we talk about relationship, database management, uh, primary key, foreign key, some of these other things. Okay, so it looks like we have about. Uh, um, you know eight slides or so how do we convert this to video okay so like I said you uh, basically obviously you you want to make sure you you've saved your presentation and then you're going to go to file okay and then you're gonna get this new uh, new look and feel from 2013 it looks a little bit different and then you are going to go to export okay and then create a video right here okay 
So let's select that. Now it is going to give you a few options. Well, you know, it's asking me, what are you trying to make the video for? Well, I would like to, when you click on the drop down, it gives you some options. I would really like this for a, um, you know, internet slash DVD, really uploading for web. And you can see it gives you the format. So this is going to be 640 by 480 pixels. I'm going to select that. Okay, it also tells you, you know, how much time do you want to spend in be between slide, okay? Um, that's fine. I can, I can uh, you know, live with that, okay? Now, one thing uh, before I do that, uh, in fact, I do want to apologize. I do want to show you something in here that here on this particular slide, okay, I actually have a um, message in here or recorded message. Let me just play this real quick. An example of a one-to-many relationship would be customers and orders in a database. So uh, for the table, for the records in the customer table, you can have one-to-many orders. Anyway, and I, I, can, uh, I can show you how to do this, uh, in fact, real quickly. You really, all you do is you do insert, uh, go to uh, media, okay, audio, and then you record a audio, okay. So insert tab media audio record audio and why would you want to do that well i mean remember the vi the vi the video you make is going to be just basically you know rolling through these slides okay if you are trying to do some kind of narration and uh, additional uh, i guess voice information you would want to do that so just just keep that in mind when we run the video when we get to this one to many relationship uh, slide this uh, this video or this audio should really uh, kick in at that time. So let's go to buy back to file. So just if you were watching, I just clicked on file, export, create a video, and I will select internet and DVD, and then create video. Okay. Now it's asking you for for an option here. Would you would you like to make an MPEG? This is uh, you know typically used on the web. I'm actually going to make a Windows Media movie okay and then I'm going to click save right and uh, you know this is going to take a few minutes I'm actually going to go ahead and pause this but I will be right back so as you can see down here it says creating video uh, and looks like it just just my timing was impeccable usually it's not uh, it's not that great but now um, if you if you see uh, if you go to your uh, folder location uh, right here, okay, so today is February 12, 10 p.m. Um, I have nothing better to do on a Tuesday night, but anyway, uh, our video has been created, okay? Now, let's let's go ahead and double click on it and see what happens. Check it out. See, now, this just fired off Windows Media Player. It is going to switch every five seconds, okay? I think this is very cool. Uh, five seconds seems to be a little bit faster. An example of a one-to-many relationship would be customers and orders in the database. So uh, for the table, for the records in the customer table, you can have one-to-many orders. So this is the message that I was talking about. So very cool. I mean, this is uh, obviously the first thing I wanted to show you is how to how easy it is to create a video. And like I said, it's uh, you know it's switching, it's switching slides a little bit faster. Um, you would have to be a speed reader. Uh, maybe you know when you're making video, just maybe give it give it a little bit more time. So so that was basically the first feature I wanted to show you. So remember, file, export, create a video. Moving on, uh, let's let's take a look at this next one, which is. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, lost my, uh, I lost my place. But uh, basically, this is how to present online. Well, how do you do that? Let's go back to our uh, PowerPoint uh, on SQL Server. Okay, I would really like to present this online. I mean, making a video is great, but how cool would it be if I can really demo this live? Okay, so again, you go back to File. Now, this time, I'm going to select Share. And I'm going to select present uh, present online, right? And it, it talks a little bit about it. No setup is required. You do need to have um, a live.com uh, account, which is you know some similar to obviously uh, 
um, hotmail dot uh, hotmail dot com. But basically, um, so now I'm going to just click present online, okay? And it uh, goes through a little bit of you know information. There's another option. I'm going to leave that as is. I'm just simply going to click connect, okay? And um, you have to be logged into your uh, live.com account and I can show you how to do that okay but uh, look at this it actually went ahead and created this link so I'm going to copy this link okay in fact I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in notepad before it goes away okay so let's just hold on to that for a minute and you say um, you can just say uh, let's see start presentation uh not yet let's let's not do it yet um i'm actually going to go um let's see <clears throat> see this is a part so at least we are uh, up and running i'm actually going to send a quick email to another account let's just say uh so let me do this i'm going to go to um one of my email accounts here and i'm going to send a note to one of my other accounts basically what I'm trying to do is I mean you, you could send this obviously to somebody right but uh, let's just do this I'm actually going to just simply simply copy that link which you can see okay I, I just simply copied that I don't really need to email it but you get the idea okay I'm going to hit enter and see what happens here okay so look at this now you know this could be a potential um, target audience or part of your teammate or you know some collaboration that you're trying to do across the, across the pond or you know you're in America and your friends are sitting in India or Pakistan and this this would be very beneficial okay so now it says waiting for presentation to begin all right that's cool uh, I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint right here okay and I am going to uh, say you know now I have confirmation that people are already online let's just go ahead and start presenting it okay and while I'm doing this let's go on to the next slide okay now let me switch to the internet okay which one is it right here okay look at this it's on the same screen let's cover some key terms okay now I don't know if I can make this a little bit smaller uh, okay there you go maybe maybe I'll try that okay I don't know. It's, I don't think it's going to work. But anyway, let's let's go on to the next one. Okay. Now I'm talking about database relationships. Now I'm going to go to you know one-on-one -on -one relationships, and look at this. Okay. You can see that as.